Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to add fonts to your Zodo. So to begin with, I am going to use this website which is called thefont.com and I'm going to choose some Halloween fonts that I want to uh, put in my digital planning for the month of October. So I'm going to choose this one, Fright Maiden. I download an opened file, then I'm going to select only the TTF file and I'm going to extract. I'm just going to change the name because if I lose it it's nice that I know that it starts with font so I know how to find it. So there it is. Um, so now I'm on my files and if you don't have access to all these folders you can uh, check this uh, show hidden system files but uh, now, we don't have access to all of the folders, as you can see, inside of data, um, it doesn't have anything. So, I found a way that we can go around this. So, I'm going to open here my Play Store and I'm going to download an app called Files. And it's this blue one here from Mark Apps and Software. So, you can install this one and then open. After opening, this is what you are going to see and you now will have access to all the folders inside. So I'll come here to Downloads and here is my font. So I will select and drag until my tab here. I will then open it. And I'll keep doing the same. We have to do this for every single folder. So drop it into Android and then select and drag and drop into data then again into com.zodo.pdf uh, .reader, this one and then I'll do again and drop it into files finally I will drop it into downloads oh and not finally <laughs> I have to drop it inside Zodo as well. <laughs> and here it is, our font. Now let's test it out, but we have to do something first with the Zodo app. So let's open the Zodo app. There you go. So uh, first, let's go here to this wheel. Let's go to the settings and then annotating. And then if you scroll down, text annotation fonts and you will see here all the fonts and I'll just check the fonts that I just downloaded. Now we can test it out. I'm going to open a planner. There it is and I'm just going to test this font to see if I can find it. So I will just write something here. Happy Halloween. Okay, and then if I click and then if I want to change the settings, uh, let, let me just put this a little bit bigger. And here under font, you can choose this drop down menu and here it is, the font. So, it looks so pretty in this planner, especially because I am planning for October and it looks just awesome. Look at this. Now, as you can see, after you learn this uh, tip, you have endless possibilities for your planner and all the fonts that you want. Uh, another tip within Zodo is that uh, if you come here, you can have access to presets. And as you can see, they change. So you can just change something for a font that you like. For example, uh, the text color you can choose a different color for this preset. I will choose an orange one. I think it's nice for the, the season. And then you can also choose a border color uh, where it's going to be like a box around it, but I don't like it, so I will leave it like that. A background color as well. Uh, let me just put out ah, the stroke. You can also change the stroke when you have a border. 
we, it's really nice. Um, I'm just going to put this a little bit bigger because I want it to see uh, very well. <laughs> and then change the font again. Uh, I also downloaded this one, Happy Halloween, which is very nice. So now next time that I want to use this exactly font and this exactly uh, settings, I can just press and there it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like in the description, subscribe to my channel and visit my store.